Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> We have watched unguided We have helped them progress From Nomadland to Marvel, to the land of Marvel. This movie is visually incredible. And I wonder if you can speak to me about how the landscape shaped Eternals, because I really think it's a testament to your vision. This film was conceived to be seen on a big screen because Jack Kirby's initial idea, you know, the way he likes to tell story through mythology. He's telling this big, epic, cosmic story with, with big ideas, uh, yet they're often reflected in these very intimate moments between characters and their relationships. And I think Eternal has got that scope. We set out to, to try to capture that. I have to ask, what is it like for you at this point in your unbelievable career, at this moment, to be an actual superhero? It's great, it makes you feel like anything it's possible. And I hope that when people watch the film and they see my character, they are reminded of that. That sometimes, even if it feels impossible, if you don't see the avenue to for something to happen, the, everything is possible. Life is full of surprises. Eternals is, it's unlike any other Marvel movie we've ever seen. Can you talk to me about how Chloe's singular vision really transformed this world? Her whole intention is to transform what it means to be a superhero. She goes deeper than that. And she brings a strong spiritual feeling. You know, that the superpower is is love and not being able to shoot stuff from your eyes. I mean, Chloe's extremely empathetic. And in most superhero movies, good and bad are very clearly delineated. Here, it's a lot of gray, you know? She kind of wanted to ask a lot of questions and perhaps not provide a lot of answers. And she wanted every character's point of view to be valid. He manages to capture these these moments between the, the, the characters within this huge volcano exploding, monsters coming out of the sea world. Yeah, she definitely brings her signature style and sensibility to everything she does. And I think you can see that in, in the film here. Yeah, it's that ability to, to really kind of go from that kind of epic scale and then to something just really small and character driven um, and to capture those moments. So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think's gonna lead the Avengers? Uh, you come uh, to the MCU on the heels of, of course, uh, an Oscar win, but you also come as a fan. So I wonder, was there like a hilarious amount of pressure for you to deliver <laughs> as a fan for the fans? Well, thank you for asking that. The pressure <laughs> as a fan coming into the MCU making this film it is almost unbearable. It is tough. I think it's so much tougher than the creative side of it, you know, when you're just as a filmmaker, you know, um, but as a fan boy, that was, I mean, still uh, right now, I'm still feeling it. Are you guys ready for the cosplay of it all? Because fans are going to be dressing up, going to Regal. They are going, it's going to be unbelievable. Are you ready for this? I started already. When we were at the premiere, I felt like I saw it, right? It was amazing. Yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting because the costumes are very intricate and not easy to make. So <laughs> I'm curious to see how people deal with them. But yeah, we saw a few already. And it's amazing that people already love these characters, even though they haven't watched the movie. But that is that is a testament uh, to this world, to the MCU and to both of you. Kid, I have to I have to start with you. You play a human in this movie. How jealous are you of Leah's superpowers? Pretty jealous, but I don't think Dane is which is interesting. He seems pretty cool about the whole thing about being human. Yeah. So, yeah, he's the better man. It's beautiful, isn't it? You both have been friends for so long. Is This must be like the coolest full circle moment for you, yeah? I Me mean, personally, I would have never thought that my my old friend, um, <laughs> who I've known for so long and, you know, gotten drunk with and just the sitting around in your kitchen and that now we're in this film. It's, it's crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> it makes it really easy when you have to get up at 3 a.m. to go to work and I get to see my buddy every day. 
Amazing. Gemma, is it weird to see like lasers come out of your friend's eyes? It's, it's great to see the final thing because on the day when we were shooting, it would just be Richard sort of squinting around <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so. Much has been made about the diversity in this film and it's, after seeing it, it's not a buzzword, it's not clickbait, it is real, it is tangible, and it is so beautiful to see it on the big screen. I'm so curious, when you guys watched the film for the first time, what was your reaction knowing the impact that it would have on so many people? It's thrilling to be part of that, that's what we want. We want a lot of people to be able to see themselves up there and there's still lots of work to be done on that. But I just love every step that takes us closer to normalization of this so that hopefully one day we're doing interviews like this and not talking about it because it is the norm. You kind of forget, you're just there with these wonderful people. Now we're talking about it again, but the whole point isn't it that to see beyond geography or sexual orientation or whatever, uh, and just be a family. Yeah. And to me, they're my family. So I, I stopped seeing any differences. They were just my eternal family, and I love them. Speaking of family, you know I love your family. <laughs> and, and a little birdie told me that Eternals opens on the same day as your dad's birthday. And I have it on good authority that he is a real superhero. So I didn't want for him to be left out of this big moment. So I made him a little something. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Richard doesn't mind. <laughs> you have to send it to me. Can I, I, can I pretend it's my birthday present for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will get it to the proper places to get it to you. <laughs> Thank you, you're brilliant. Uh, you are so, so lovely. It's nice to see you again always. and congratulations. You're the best, I love you I so much. I can't believe you always surprise me and make me laugh. <laughs>